Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Free Universal Tuner. This is an excellent free app from the Play Store and you can see how to install it and set it up in another video. You're looking at the Free Universal Tuner display. Notice the bar across the middle of the screen. Just above the bar are three note names, C4 in the center. Underneath are four yellow boxes. These represent your strings if you're a cello. Let's click on the yellow box on the left, A3. First we hear the note. Notice that the yellow box now has a blue border to show that it's been selected. Also you can see that the notes across the middle of the screen have changed and that now there's an A in the center. If I pluck the A or first string on my cello, you'll see a green bubble slide into the middle of the screen. It stops almost under A3, which means that the string is almost in tune. Notice that the yellow box at the bottom has turned blue. That's to remind you that the string is in tune. You can ignore everything in the top half of the screen. It can be useful, but we don't need it for tuning our instrument. Now I'll pluck my other strings in turn, and let's see what happens. OK, so all the boxes have changed to blue or green, or somewhere in between. That's good. It means my cello is almost in tune. Blue is better than green, but green is quite good too. Let's hear those strings again, and this time, watch the bubble in the middle. When the bubble is slightly to the left of centre, the string is too loose and needs to be tightened. When the bubble is slightly to the right, the string is too tight and needs to be loosened. However, all these strings are almost in tune, and you wouldn't use the pegs to change them. You would use the fine tuning adjusters below the bridge. So, in order to show you the free universal tuner in action, I'm going to put my cello seriously out of tune. Please don't do this yourself. Right, I'll start tuning my cello. The first thing I'm going to do, before I do anything else, is play all the strings to make sure that none of them are floppy. I'll always tighten any floppy strings first using the free universal tuner to bring them somewhere near to the right note. Now let's see what we have. In every case, there's a red arrow on the left of the screen telling me that my strings are all too loose and off the scale. Having said that, none of them are floppy, so they're all making a note. So I'm going to start with my second string, the D. I'd recommend you do the same and leave the first string, the A, till last. I'll select D here at the bottom. Let's have a listen to it. The red arrow on the left is telling me the string is too loose. So I'm going to play the string again, and this time, I'm going to tighten it with the peg. Very important, pluck the string and turn the peg while it's ringing. If you can't hear the string, don't turn the peg. It'll sound something like this. Okay. So that D is a little tight, but that's okay. Onto the G string. First, select it at the bottom. That's pretty good. Now C, so select it here. I'll not get closer than that. I think I'll leave it there. Let's hear those three strings again now. Here's D. Ah, well, I get a tick because it's bang on. Clever me. How about G? I'll just change that slightly, although I probably don't need to. Hooray! More brownie points for me. And C. Yay! Now I'll go back to the A. Select it. And pluck. Yay! 
Yippee! So finally, let's hear all four strings. They've moved a little bit, but that's good enough for me. And if I did want to fine tune them from here, I would recommend that you use the fine tuning adjusters and not the pegs. Before you finally start tuning your own cellos, watch my video on turning the pegs. There's some important things you need to know and some useful tips as well as what to do when it all goes horribly wrong. Yeah.